Let's watch this team in action and see what happens inside the brain of a veteran as he deals with the PTSD event. For some reason, certain traffic sounds trigger traumatic feelings for this soldier. Anxiety, and he doesn't know why. Let's look and see what's happening inside his brain. Thalmus at the central reception station receives all information about this event that has just occurred. At the same time, it has skipped the Thalmus and the information has gone straight to the amygdala. This is a traumatic event that requires the flight response because of fear. And this information bypassed the thalamus and went straight down to the amygdala. And the amygdala has already sent messages to the hypothalamus, who then begins to send signals down to all of the glands and to release hormones into different parts of the organs. Meanwhile, the prefrontal cortex is constantly on the radio telling the rest of his team to calm down, allow him to analyze all the information coming in and to try and make a executive decision that makes sense for the wellness of the same body. time the hypothalamus is going through the history books his, history after action reviews and trying to determine how should we react and he's coming up with the idea that hey every time we've heard this sound there was something violent that happened so we need to react with fear when we hear the this thalamus is on the radio yelling down to the hypothalamus and the amygdala it's like guys calm down i have not assigned you this information yet just relax let me send it to the prefrontal cortex Meanwhile, the hippocampus, as it's trying to determine which of these new memories that are occurring right now can we link to old memories, starts to talk with the amygdala as well and says, hey, is there something that's rarely scaring us right now? Should we store this in our long-term memory so that next time, whenever we sense the same stimuli, we can cause this body to get nervous again? But then the prefrontal cortex is starting to analyze all the data and make sense of the situation. He wants to be able to give the hypothalamus and amygdala the order when they should react. So he looks at the information, he thinks about the sound he's hearing now, and he begins to question that emotion. And in that question, he goes through some cognitive behavioral therapy, and he asks, what is this emotion I'm having? It's fear. Let's think about that fear. What is causing the fear? Well, last time I would hear this sound, I was deployed in Iraq, and people were killed with a rocket attack. Well, let me challenge that fear right now. Am I in Iraq? No. Is there any rocket attacks happening around me? No. Do I realize that this damages my body if I allow myself to react? Yes. I'm going to con take control of my emotions and I choose not to allow these sounds to bug me. They still will pop in and when they do pop in, I will immediately go into cognitive behavioral therapy and challenge this. Because when I challenge this, I am stopping the flood of hormones 
being released to different organs in my body that are damaging my body. Saudi, this is headquarters, bring it on home. Successful mission. You were able to take control of that emotion and challenge emotion, and we're much better off. Good job. Head on back to base, over.